new revelations tonight into the deadly apartment fire in Albany that claimed the life of a little girl. The family of three-year-old Amari Wellburn went before the media today just hours after her funeral to set the record straight on what they say really happened last month. Flames broke out at 20 Benson Street back on October 17th, and crews pulled Amari from the fire, but she died days later from her injuries. Although the family said today that the responding crew's behavior during their time of crisis was far from heroic. They pushed me out my house and told me that they was going to find my daughter, retrieve my daughter out of the house, which the whole time they were telling me that she wasn't in there. They didn't, they didn't have, they didn't ask me how many children were, there, were in the house. They didn't ask me any of that. They just told me they had a girl with a pink shirt and that they retrieved her out the house. And I let them know that was not Amari, that was Mijani, and that my daughter was still in there while the house was burning. And that's what happened. And something needs to be done about this, because when I'm being told that there's no one in the house, and you have four firefighters in there, and from what I understand, it was going on for at least six minutes before I got there, you fought with me for 10 minutes before I was able to make you chase me down the alleyway. So that's 16 minutes of wasted time. And I'm mad. Well, Albany Fire Chief Bob Ferrezzi says he stands by his crew's actions on that day. Van Ness is accused of leaving an open flame on the stove to help heat the house. She says one of her children lit an incense stick on fire and an ember sparked the flames. The family is now calling for Van Ness's four other children who currently are in foster care to be returned home. They are expected back in family court next week.